Charleston, South Carolina, has done something for the first time in 150 years. They've elected a Republican mayor. Former state legislator William Cogswell's win last week is one of a few GOP victories this year. Now, while the election was technically nonpartisan, one reason he won is because the Democratic vote in that city was divided. He also picked up support from far more working class African American voters. That's usually a, a, a staple for Democrats in urban areas. So, what does it all mean? Maybe. Steyerwald is here to break it all down. I can do right. maybe. maybe. And I know it's nonpartisan, but have you ever seen a more Republican looking human being than that guy? <laughs> he looks that's like, you. yeah, he, 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 that's a stone cold Republican bro right there. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, why do you care about the mayoral election in Charleston, South Carolina? You don't, uh, unless you live in Charleston, South Carolina, a lovely uh, city indeed. Why you might care about it is what it says about the nature of the Democrats' coalition and what it might say about 2024. I want to read to you uh, something, a quote from my friend Dave Weigel, writing in Semaphore. This, this was the runoff election. In the, in the prior round, there was a younger African-American woman who was challenging the incumbent, not a Democrat, but really a Democratic candidate, and they brought in all the cavalry, right? They brought in uh, Jim Clyburn. They brought in national Democratic figures to try to prop this guy up. And here's what she said. She said, this is uh, Mika Gadsden, Gadsden. You keep rolling up that DNC bus like it means something in a city that is displaced black voting bloc and you, that you need and want here. Uh, <clears throat> you can bring in all the fish fries, all the Clyburn, all the Cory Bookers, all the Kamalas. But when you've eroded that block and now you're looking at them like, oh, where are you at? Well, where they were at, in fact, was voting for the Republican in that race, that very Republican-looking dude that we showed you before. Uh, this is concerning for some Democrats, uh, with good reason. And you know why? Look at Joe Biden's job approval rating among different age groups. Check it out. Here it is. Ta-da. Okay. Lower approval rating among those 18 to 29-year-old voters. Uh, we've heard a lot. We've talked here about, is it Hamas? Is it uh, the support for Israel? What, what's driving this? What's driving this? And I want to tell you something. I want to tell you people something. It's not that complicated. It's the economy. It's the economy because who takes it right in the teeth when there's high inflation? It's low wage earners. Who doesn't earn, who doesn't earn a lot of money? People starting out in their careers. Young people are dissatisfied with the economy. Two, as you will see in this next graphic, ta-da, how do you view the way Biden is handling the economy? Look at the spreads there, right? The, the numbers get worse the, among younger voters, and we have other polling that, point, that points to real economic pessimism among younger voters. But they're going to come back for Joe Biden, aren't they? Won't they be like they were in 2020? Won't they come back for Joe Biden when they overwhelmingly, as you can see there, according to exit polls, voted for Joe Biden? I don't know. Look at this. Here you go. Check out our final snazzy graphic. Who would you vote for for president? This is NBC News, high quality poll that we like very much. We've talked about here before. Donald Trump winning among those younger voters. Now, I will tell you right now, just so that Chris Hahn doesn't jump over the top of the desk before I finish saying these things. <laughs> I will tell you, that's not going to be what the final number looks like. But if it's anything like that, if it's anything like that with younger voters, black voters, white voters, whatever, uh, that's a serious problem for Democrats. And it's something that we're going to watch from here on in. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.